Hey everybody, welcome to Primetime Kitchen's How Tuesday, episode 23, take three. three. Tonight we're going to be in this scary good pasta dish. You're going to love this. We're going to use this beautiful Popperdell uh, pasta, which is big, thick, wide noodle, which I absolutely love. Some wild mushrooms. Uh -huh. We're going to do roasted Brussels sprouts and a little green English peas. Now, the cool thing here is the sauce is going to be delicious. We're going to do a white wine sauce. I'm going to finish it with a little bit of balsamic. Yep. It's got some sweetness because of the Brussels sprout story, as you know. Get real caramelly and bitter and delicious. Mm -hmm. We're going to toss them right into that pasta into a bowl. We're going to top it. Well, let's check it out. Look how we did our chicken tonight. We sous feed it. A little bit of garlic and olive oil, nothing That's crazy. Cool. Got it up to 134 degrees because here's what that does. It allows us some cooking room when we sear it off. That way it doesn't get good and dry. But I am having some braised short ribs from my guys over at Petty's Meats. They're awesome. Okay, a couple things going on with the show before we get started tonight. Um, we are doing this awesome knife giveaway, this Shun knife. It's the same exact knife that I use here on Tao right Tuesday. Yeah, it's actually right there. The one. It's a great knife. Absolutely loves it. It says just dog sharp. It's about a $150 knife. Uh, it should last you pretty much a lifetime. So we're giving this away. November 15th is when we're starting this. Go to ptkradio.com. It's an enter to win, and then we'll do the live drawing right here. This is courtesy of the Oliver Brothers, Oliver Brothers Real Estate, but you can see all their cool stuff at Oliver, theoliverbrothers.com. We also have a straightening steel that Primetime Kitchen's throwing there as well. So, again, if you'd love to win this great knife, guys, again, this is a lifetime knife. Uh, ptkradio.com, you'll see everything to register there. Also, big thanks to Wasi's Meats. Uh, for presenting Primetime Kitchen and allowing us to even do the show, Wassies.com. Remember the Egg Fest coming on the 28th yep. of next year, and it is going to be awesome. I can't wait. I'm actually cooking this year. Mm -hmm. ah, it's going to be fun. Uh, tonight, we're also going to do a little bruschetta because the way our meal is going to plan out, we have some friends over tonight because we're going out for a little Halloween movie. Say hi, friends. Hi. 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 Um, <laughs> That's us. Uh, what movie are we going to go see? Steve. We're going to see Nightmare on Elm Street. Cool thing Woo! is, Steve is French, and the French hate art. So <laughs> they, they, uh, so we're going to go introduce him to American horror, a la the 80s. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun tonight. We're doing that at Enzion. They're awesome people. Yeah. We're trying to work with those guys. Also, big thanks to the guys at WUCF for having me out to uh, Ooh, host. How fun was that? Man, that was so much fun. And guys, are we going to do something with them? So... Something something is on the horizon for Primetime Kitchen and WUCF. A television show uh, is being spoken about right now. We're trying to come up with some cool ideas. We think we've settled on a couple. So we'll tell you more about that as we move forward. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with that. They're going to yeah, provide their sure. entire team to be able to do it. But we did a moderation for them for Cook's Country last night. It was so much fun. Um, just a lot of fun. And uh, if you don't mind, like and share the video tonight, please. Uh, let's get started. What do you say, Tor? Oh, we have to toast. Tonight, I'm Easy. drinking this decoy cab that was brought to us by our friends uh, celebrating Halloween tonight as we go out as adults. Yep. Tori is having this beautiful wine that the guys at Perpetti's uh, offered tonight to match look, up with this dish. Look what I got. I don't know what that crazy thing is. What it's is a wand, and it's supposed to take all the histamines and sulfates out of my wine. Is it this, from the same people who brought you the air fryer? I'm so excited because if I don't get hangovers anymore, oh man. Yeah, because people will be eating those wands if I, that's the case. Yeah, it's Total true. drunks will be eating the wands. It's true. All right, let's get started, Tor. What are you drinking tonight? You're drinking that wine? Our friends over there have everything from Tito's and NASCAR <laughs> cups. <laughs> All the way down to uh, we are fancy, yeah, we're a little fancy. We're showing off our fancy friends tonight. <laughs> All right, so first things first, let's get these let's get these Brussels sprouts in the oven because we can okay. cook them and they can cool down because we're going to wind up tossing them in the pasta anyway. Yep. And then we're going to make a little roasted red pepper bruschetta, mm -hmm. which is actually an awesome dish. And uh, I pre prepped some of these uh, Brussels sprouts just to kind of give you an idea. If I can like, come that way, I don't spend the whole time cooking and cutting and stuff. Okay. We're going to show you how to quarter these. Yep. And tell you what I think is kind of a cool idea. All right. So you're going to notice that these, as we start doing this, these things are going to leave these flowers. Now, are these petals. I'm going to put these in the in the uh, pasta tonight. We're going to cook them off. Okay. But what you could do is after you quarter your your um, your Brussels, yep. you can save these. Toss them in olive oil and salt and pepper and put them on a baking pan at 350 for about 8 or 10 minutes. And Tori, they turn into these beautiful little, like literally potato chips with Brussels sprouts. And they're freaking delicious. They sea, are so good. Sea salt, pepper, that's all you need. A little bit of olive oil. And they are absolutely delicious. And we're just going to incorporate them in tonight. And if you'll notice a little technique I'm doing here, which is basically I'm trimming the butt. 
I'm holding it sideways, being very careful. Sharp knife is necessary. I want to point the blade down the rock blade into the food. That way I can avoid any of the blades skipping into my hand. Okay, do it again because I wasn't like focusing on your hand. Okay. So we're going to take the tip. Yeah. We're drive in like that and then rock the blade into it. Okay. Rock the blade. Don't rock the blade, baby. Rock the blade. Don't no. tip the blade over. Stop. Right in. That way the blade doesn't skip into our thumb and stuff, okay? That was kind of good, though. Yeah. But it's not as good as my wrap, my wrap Sorry. reference. Why do you always feel? I'm thug. You're not. I am. Babe, if you sleep with one black eye, you're thug. That's me. Sorry, that is, uh, that's not true. You it can, is. So you can sleep with a thousand black guys. It's not going to make you any more thug than anybody else. No, I am. I'm way more thug. It doesn't know. Tori, it doesn't work like that. Oh, they're already demanding me to put a wizard hat on you. No, don't do it. Don't do it. It's a, don't do it. Don't do it because it's, here's the thing. It's not really that funny. Tori, you mother. <laughs> don't, make, don't make me curse on this show. Because what is this? This, this is a family show. I just work for PBS. Don't do this. I say people bring you Sesame Street, man. And used to bring you an electric act, company. Act like you're being electrocuted. <laughs> what you said? Is that a crazy sexual thing you have? Should, should, we, have, should we have them leave? Yeah, do no, it. I'm not act, doing it. Act like you're being electrocuted. No, why, why would I do that? <laughs> because it'll go with what I got you no, on. No, I'm not doing it then. Then I'm definitely not going to give you that pleasure. Say right. happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, for sure. <laughs> what, okay. What am I? By well, the way, I have to tell you that I watched a little video. I, I hate watching myself, but I watched a little video, video the other night, and the bug eyes made me laugh. Oh, man. They are the funniest thing in the world. The bug eyes Because they, laugh. like, fall I mean, forward whenever you look forward. Now, don't get me wrong. I did hate you for a few minutes. That's fine. And I mean a visceral, satanic type hate. Uh, well, I, equal. But, um. Pretty much all the time. Oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there's some real in the show. <laughs> this is all I fake. You. I love you. So we're going to cut these all up. And we're going to toss these in olive oil, salt, and pepper. That's all we're going to do to them. Okay. And uh, the reason we quarter them is yeah. I think the bite size is a little bit better, and you get more sides to roast. Yep. You know, the more surface, the more roasty goodness you get. Okay. This is actually probably a little too much for our pan. Yep. I don't like to crowd the pan so much. It's okay. It will be okay. Hey, you guys, give us a like and share pretty, please. I really do appreciate it. Yep. Uh, when I'm cooking big meals, I kind of keep one of those bowls there. Um, I don't know, just because. Some garlic. For the garbage? Yeah. Is that your garbage bowl? That is my garbage bowl. Okay. So we're going to do a couple cloves of garlic. I'm going to throw in here. Well, we really don't need to, but I love to because garlic is, uh, well, it's the answer to life, Tori. It is. That is. It is. It's the stone cold answer to life. Jesus himself planted that stuff. Yes. Wow, um, man, you are on fire tonight. How much drink uh, did you have? Really? Are you going to get us uh, literally banned from Facebook? What? With your craziness today? Is that Wait, what's happening? I don't even know what you're talking no, about. I don't know either. What? So we're going to do uh, probably about you did. three plant cloves of garlic. garlic. Did you really? I, I, well, I, 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 somebody started it. Can I tell you? I missed that parable. <laughs> it, uh, that one aired me. I did not get the, uh, the whole thing here. So... They want me to do the wizard, but I can't find it. Uh, that's not the worst thing that ever happened to the show. You they said they'll only give us a like if I do the wizard. No, oh, that's not true. They did. This guy, Walter, did. Well, Walter, you know what, buddy? I mean, I can earn other likes. You know what I mean? As I don't, I'm not going to die. Like tonight, I'm going to be. Lisa you, said, you're rock probably, the blade over. Well, you can do that. Thanks, Lisa. I, I appreciate well, that. She was expounding on your. your dated song reference wow really guys <laughs> honestly not tonight i will walk off set like kevin spacey <laughs> oh oh uh, molestation the reason why and you're gay 13 year old inside <laughs> 14 oh. who's 14 okay subi is done we're gonna go and kill this okay so we're gonna let it cool right down because we're gonna sear that right off anyway okay the cool thing about sous vide is we can set this for 135. It's going to get all the water temperature. will permeate all the way through the chicken. So the chicken all the way through is 135 degrees, which is not quite done. Okay. 140, 145 is going to be good. So by the time we sear that off and a little bit of butter to give it some texture on the outside and some flavor, yep. that thing will be perfect and so juicy. Good. I'm all excited. Right. So. What's next? Garlic. Where'd it go? You just chopped it. Where'd it go? <laughs> what happened to the garlic I just chopped? You put it in there. Oh my God, Almighty! What is wrong with me? Stop it, stop it, Tori. I'm losing my mind. You guys, that's because that's what happens when you do that. Wizard. What are you, wait? What are you doing? Salt. Okay. Pepper. Okay. Salt, pepper. 
Okay, so salt, pepper, olive oil. Get good olive oil. You should. Pretty good olive oil. That's probably about what? Three tablespoons? Yeah. Uh, Michael Joseph said that if you sharpen your blades yourself, you have to check out spider coat. Are you? What? You're making a mess. I got a couple. Of, look, man, this is the. This is cooked. Pork. And then you wanted to judge me about this putting is, uh, succotash on my foot? This is cooking. <laughs> We're cooking. Okay. Anyways, he loves his. What that guy said? He loves. I don't think he lost me at Walter. Okay, Jimmy, if you sharpen your own blades yourself, did you already heat that? Yeah. What's that do? Uh, it allows it to kind of caramelize on the bottom as it, because if not, the pan will sit there, and as the pan gets hot, it'll take the time to warm up from the bottom. The tops will start cooking, and it helps it cook a little bit more evenly, and it gives us a good char on the bottom. Mm. Preheat it like 350 for you, though, no biggie. These are going right in. It is a biggie because we've never done that before. We well, haven't, but we can't say that anymore now, can we? Well, you almost didn't okay, explain good. it. Okay, so. Okay, what? Jimmy, if you sharpen your own blades yourself, <laughs> You're kill I'm, you honestly, have to check I'm out Spider Co. if you haven't already. He loves his. Thank you. You're welcome. Next. Thank you. I guess I owe you that. Thank you. Okay, Marita wants to know what are you cooking? We're making pasta tonight with Brussels sprouts, some bacon. God dang it. I am so glad you asked me that. See, when I start talking to you, you start doing the wizard stuff, you make me forget <laughs> stuff. Do you know what's not on this dish right now? What? Bacon? The most important thing to be on this dish right now is bacon. Well, that's and because you were angry tonight. Why are you so angry? Because you, you won't cake, stop we have friends. screwing with what? what? You won't stop screwing with me. I'm trying to just cook some food for our friends so we can go watch horror movies. Where Johnny Depp gets eaten alive by a damn cold maniac. Johnny Depp's not even in the movie. What are you oh, talking about? Johnny Depp is in the movie, but that's fine. He is? Yes. Wait, is Johnny Depp on Nightmare on Elm Street? The original, the OG. Lori, I love you too, honey. Kevin Spacey is handing out candy tonight. <laughs> You're right. Is that what he calls his bow? Uh, oh. oh. Okay, so we're just going to sprinkle this bacon over. It doesn't matter. It's going to roast off and that fat's going to come right down in there. Walter, here. stop harassing me about the wizard hat. I can't find it. Walter, <laughs> my patience with you has grown. That's past tense. Thin. You understand me? Where are you from? Where are you from? <laughs> what are you talking about? Those are going. Okay. Yum, yum. We're just going to toss that around. That's the carbonara part. Okay. Also, now we have, Tori, let me grab real quick and see if this, um, these uh, crazy short ribs. So I will show you guys how to make this later down the road, but because I felt like having some beef tonight, yeah, I cooked some short ribs okay. for me and my man friend over there. And here they are. Frank uh, Steve. I'm excited. <laughs> Remember to check it out real quick. Oh. So. Those are some uh, primo short ribs from our friends over at Petty's. So what we did is we seared them off, got some good color, and then after we take them out of the pan. In that same pan, we seared them in mirepoix, onion, carrot, celery, yep. garlic, bay leaf, red wine, beef stock, fresh rosemary, salt, and pepper. Wow. All right? Those look really good. So those have been cooking for about three hours. Yep. And as you can see, mm. they're perfect. So what we're going to do is... Because those can sit there forever, but we do have to get that uh, juice out of there. So we're going to let it cool a little bit. And we're going to make a little bruschetta. Bruschetta, so we can eat some appetizers? Yeah. We'll Amy, he is really getting mad at me. Who is? Amy said you're really getting mad at me, and it's no, obvious. No, I'm, I'm not. But they said that it's obvious, so <clears throat> you have, they said that you have to be super nice to me. No, no, no. See, that is you manipulating the... You're, it's fake news. No. <laughs> Look, I think... I think. It's I a, have a video. Tori. We have video. So we're going to make a little bruschetta here. Uh, Lori said no tomato paste, question mark. Oh, no, there's tomato paste in there. There's I tomato rub, paste. I rub the ribs down after I sear them off in tomato paste before yeah. I put my braising liquid on. You rub them down, huh? Tori. Kathy, bit. it is amazing. It's going to be delicious. Chris said fake news. It is not fake news, Chris. So we're just going to cut some tomatoes here to make our little bruschetta for our friends. We also have, from one of our very first guests on Primetime Kitchen, this cheese that you see right here on this, on this uh, little plate. Oh, I've already gotten that, into it a little bit. That is that farmhouse feta that we had on Primetime so long ago. That was literally so amazing. 
And uh, whenever we were at Easton Market over at uh, Florida & Co. having some dinner the other night, which I strongly suggest. The best, like the grass-fed meatballs and zoodles bowl. I had the, the banh mi pork bowl. It was just absolutely flavor level after flavor level. We can't want to support her more. Gideon's so, Bakery, that entire property there is just so awesome. So I have a question. Yes. Um, so some recipes say that you get rid of the jelly and the seeds out of tomatoes. Yeah. What do you say? I say do not do that uh, because I think the flavor of the tomato is actually in that gel, to be honest with you. That's, okay. that's where you get the real tomato flavor. Um, and I would never do that. Plus, you get that great fluid that winds up at mixing with all the other ingredients you're making, whether it be a bruschetta, whether it be a pico de gallo. Yeah. You want that gel to provide that permeating tomato flavor to the rest of the to the rest of what you're making, man. You don't. You okay. Don't, that's just flavor. You don't usually throw anything out that doesn't that can give you some flavor. Okay. So these are just a couple Roma tomatoes. Yep. Chopped. All right. No big deal. Just diced up a little simple quarter inch dice. Okay. Yep. All right, so we're going to do a little bit. Where is my other other? We're going to do a little bit of chiponata basil. Okay. We're going to do some olive oil. People are taking their kids out um, uh, trick-or-treating. Yeah. So they're dipping in and out. Yeah, that's fine. I, I can, listen, we understand. We had thought about not doing a show, but we'd missed a couple shows recently, so we wanted to make sure that we're on top of it. Now, I'm actually going to save that a little bit later. We'll put that on top a little bit later. We also want to get a little roasted red pepper, which we get from yeah, we do. Whole Foods. We do. Because it's organic, right? Yeah, and organic, organic always tastes better. It's better flavor. It is. And they they do a good job roasting these things off, so we absolutely love it. Good so little. I think we're going to do trivia again tonight because it, everybody like loved the trivia okay. last night. I think. So I'm going to wait. Um, what time is it? Okay, so at 7.30, we're going to have a trivia question. So we'll have... We'll have Rhonda um, ask a trivia question. That's fine. Yeah. It'll be a Halloween foodie yeah, sure. trivia question. That sounds good. So, uh, and really this should, probably should be more equal amounts, roasted red pepper, tomato. Okay. We're probably a little bit more on the tomato side tonight, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So what kind of soups or stews do you like to make, Jimmy? You know what? Uh, my friend Kelly introduced me to this uh, soup that we oh. made. It's so good. That we made for this uh, little thing called Super Duper, believe it or not, that we were invited to a couple years back. Yeah. Um, for a company called I Dignity, which is basically uh, gets people who have been basically had their identities either stolen or compromised yep. in a situation where they can't get a job now or whatever. So okay. We, we... So which one? It was that... Um, tortellini? Yeah, that tortellini soup with the fresh, with the chicken and the spinach. And mushrooms, it's just really, really, really good. Guys, we're gonna see if this wand works. Let's put some more wine in there so we don't waste the wand. Okay. And then it's supposed to sit in there for three minutes and it's supposed to take all your histamines out and all the sulfates out so you don't have a hangover. Now, I'm, you Kathy said you're losing your ingredients and I happen to agree. Do you mind if I ask a simple question? Okay. Let's say it doesn't take out the sulfur. Well, I will let you guys know in the morning. Well, okay, that's how we're gonna have to wait. Yeah. So Maybe the suspense, it's it's killing me. I I know. Faded breath, right? Um, how often do you sharpen your knives? Uh, I don't know. Uh, almost every time after I use them for a week, I, I get in there and kind of give it a good little sharpen. Uh, on my I've got my own stone there that I. My dad taught me years ago how to sharpen a knife. I'm not super good at it, but I can keep a good. A Don't good tempt me, Dwayne. Um, okay, he wants to know if you send them off or if you do them yourself. No, I usually I do them myself. My, you know, I grew up. My uh, grandfather and my dad sharpened their knives every night. So. Yep. So, um, what do we got here? Olive oil. Yeah. That's uh, tomato, roast red pepper, shallot, garlic, a little bit of olive oil. And this little, is a bruschetta. This is a bruschetta. A little lemon, lemon juice. Yep, for uh, for some acid in there, which you absolutely need. Okay. All right. I'm gonna toss that around a little bit. Uh, Michael said Juan works his ass off. I said, all right. Um. Is there a reason that he's coming at us? Marita said that, that she keeps getting aggressive. um <laughs> interrupted by trick or treaters. So she's missing too much. Uh, Where do we buy the wand and does it work? I don't know. Somebody gave me the wand. This is the wand. 
We are finding out tonight if it works. Um, at drinkpurewine.com. It's probably a lie, because most of the stuff is. Because what psycho. is? Did you just say most stuff? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be wow. psychosomatic. Wow. And I will wake up hangover free. Wow. That I, can't, I have to tell you, I cannot get over it. It's uh, not true, you know, like everything. But Marita, it's supposed to take out the histamines and the sulfates and all of those things. Oh, are you side cutting? Are you trying to be fancy tonight? Is there any way I could just cut this bread in peace? <laughs> Um, it doesn't, you know, when, you, when you think in. of it, when you think of just a sentence, it doesn't really sound that demanding. I just want to cut the bread in peace. Okay, you're allowed. Take Mo Pen says nice kitchen. Thanks, Take Mo. <laughs> we have prison names now, is that what we're doing? Prison names? Hey, they're coming back. Who's, what are you, what are you even talking about, dude? Who is they? And where were they? Um, Cliff said he can't wait for Tom and Dan to join. Oh, man. That's coming soon. Oh, Chris said um, ABC carries it. Thanks, Chris. Um, all right. So, a little toast going here. Okay. And some, uh, just this beautiful bread from Petty's, which they bake on. We got it. Yeah, they absolutely love those guys. We'll make a little I just want need one. Tori, I... You're so selfish, dude. Oh, Aaron said, little baby gonna cry. <laughs> Horrible mf -er. I hate all of you. I literally hate every... Have you touched tips lately? How about we didn't do it at all because somebody... Somebody did not uh, fulfill their responsibilities on the show tonight. Somebody's too busy having fun with Google Eyes <laughs> and cartoon hats. Nope. It's not even that. <laughs> well, yeah. You think you know me. I don't... Trust me. I'm sure I've got a lot to learn. Look at me. No, I can't because I can't. I can't supply you that laugh. You can't have that on me. You're on The Walking Dead. I'm sorry. Are my zombie down? You are. Right on. Now I'm happy. All right. All right. So this is just a little olive oil, salt and pepper, and some fresh garlic. See it? Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. In the oven. Okay. Let that rest for a couple seconds. Okay. That'll, that'll get a little crispy. We don't want it like super crazy. We just want it crispy so we can hold this beautiful cheese. Say rawr. Rawr. <laughs> Uh, you messed up. Did I? Sorry. Loser. All right, let's build this sauce. What do you say? Okay, let's. All right, so we're going to build a sauce for our... I think it's been three sauce. minutes. It's been what? Three minutes. What are you doing? I'm using my wand. You're obsessing over the wand. Well, I'm going to be is, super excited I, if I don't have a hangover tomorrow. Yeah, the wand is controlling your life right now? It's fine. You okay with that? Tori's back. Yay, I am back, Mark. They're not that. They're not rejoicing. Yeah, and Lori said Tori's back too. Well, bitch. Lori's crazy as hell. <laughs> well, why would you say bitch at me? Oh, oh I'm sorry. I don't know. Get a little crazy. Oh, tonight. A little the, crazy. Seriously. All of a sudden, you're a little Kim. Oh. That was Amy day. said I'm in the doghouse later. Why? Little Kim. Said, who is that? Tori, don't say who's that. <laughs> she was a very, very famous rapper at one time. When? Tori. It was the 90s. You, <laughs> you were an adult then. You were no. no, no, no. Well, no. which nineties? What do you mean, which nineties? Tori, the I was in, the human nineties. Is that is that fine? I wasn't an adult in the early nineties. I was still underage <laughs> and illegal. Why do you always you break it down? Why do you always break it down to felony sex? Why does it have to be that? Why can't it just be I'm this age? Why is it not? Why does it always have to be you know the age of consent? Uh, Sean said, and at least eight states. Sean said you're a good man. Why am I a good man? And keep up the good work. Thank you. And Rodney said primetime Tory. Hell yeah. Uh, Why do you do the pinky? It's not the pinky. Because this one, I do other stuff. <laughs> Well, are you going to do it or not? You're Tink. touching tips. I don't want you to touch my lens. All right, so. Yep, what are we doing? We're getting off. Oh, all right. I like the way that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we are. Um... Focus, Jim. Chris said focus. You know what, buddy? <laughs> okay. Do I only have this shot? Yep. It'll work. It's fine. Ooh, the lady last night did it a lot better. Tori? At Cook's Country. That's not how she showed us to do it. Tori, it's exactly how she showed us to do this. This shallot just came apart. Look how perfect it is. 
Why are you doing this? Why do you, why do you feel the need? It's fine. It's on the You just like, you know how dogs kick like the grass after they go to the bathroom? You just did that with that, that stuff and you flicked it everywhere. Okay. So. I'm out of garlic. Oh, two cloves. That would Okay. All right, so garlic. Yep. Uh, we have our, uh, God, I might, man, I went through a lot of garlic tonight, baby. It's fine. It's good. A lot of garlic. Mm -hmm. It's been fun, though. Mm -hmm. These guys won't know any different. <laughs> <laughs> she is drinking out of a Yeti. They're, they're from Davenport. <laughs> Um, Tina wants to know what the difference is between a shallot and an onion. The shallot has kind of a, a more of a garlicky flavor. Uh, it supports garlic sauces or garlic bait. You know, I mean, everything has basically onions and garlic. So it just has more of a strong garlicky flavor, which I like a little bit more. So it's, if you it's were used to, in sauces a lot. If you were to put them in a line, it would go garlic, shallot, onion. Sure. Okay. Did you, did you need me to approve that? Did you need me to approve that? Don't talk to me that way. <laughs> I don't I don't know what we're doing here. I'm trying to make this dish. And you are literally driving me crazy. Um, we have bread in the oven. Do we? Yeah, so we're making this little, this is actually the beginning of our sauce. So, yeah. we're gonna do some butter. Yeah. Cause, you know, it's butter. You're welcome, Tina. That feels like enough. Oh man, I did have another shallot in there. Sorry. The shallot. Yeah. Try to hide. Okay. It did not win. All right. When you come over here, why don't you bring me that glass of wine? I'm not doing that. All right. So demanding. Hmm? Did you heat the hot tub up tonight? I did heat the hot tub up tonight. We're gonna get down after we go to watch Nightmare on Elm Street. You should stop drinking. It's always more fun for you when I do. Is it? I don't know, is it? Oh yeah, that's way better. Got it. Okay. Definitely need it. So. Yep. Now we have our good hot pan. Yep. Some good quality unsalted butter. Stay right where you are, my love. Okay. We'll get these shallots and garlic in here. Please don't move. I will. Right behind you. Mmm. Uh, what's boiling in the stove? That's just water. We're gonna cook our pasta with. So we're just going to saute these, uh, these down a little bit. Saute these. Saute these. Then we're actually going to make a little bit of a roux. We're gonna have, we have our wild mushrooms. Okay. They let me pass the trivia thing. Okay. We're going we're gonna to do the trivia thing. We will do three questions. And whoever answers the questions first the questions correct first, then we will send them a pint or a mug. So let's go. All right, first question. Yep. On average, how many pounds of talk, or how many pounds of candy do Americans eat per year? Okay, how many pounds of candy do Americans eat per year? You guys answer, and they're gonna, they're gonna watch and see who answers correct first. And we will send you a pint or a mug. All right, so we have... No, the, this is not a roast. So we have the Brussels sprouts uh, in the oven. They have bacon and some shallot on them and garlic. These are, this is wild mushrooms, portobello, porcini, shiitake. Really good nutty flavor. So our, we have a nice saute there. We're gonna go ahead and add our mushrooms. Okay. I love these mushrooms. These are the only mushrooms that I do like. There. Very, very good. What's happening here? Oh. Okay. So we're gonna just saute these down a little bit. Okay. And we want that, we, remember how we would get that liquid to come out of the mushrooms? Right. Same thing. We want that liquid to start seeping out of the mushrooms into the pan. It's called a sweat, correct? Sweat. Kind of sweats it. Yeah, they release, exactly. They were, you, you can actually see them start getting shinier as they heat up. Yeah. And that's all you really need. Then we're going to deglaze with some white wine. Okay. And we're going to include all these vegetables in. Now, a lot of times we make sock sauces like this. A lot of guys will strain the wine chicken stock mixture out of the vegetables, okay. then reduce that, add butter, and that's finished, right? Right. We're not going to do that. This is a real hearty dish. We want a lot of veggies in there. We want all the flavor in the dish. So we're going to leave that shallot. 
and that onion right in the dish. We, we don't we don't have any problem with that. So our sauce is going to be this nice big bodied sauce. Yeah. The pasta is big. The Brussels sprouts are bold, bacon smoky, and then we'll have a little bit of sweet because we're going to finish this this cream sauce with butter and a tiny bit of balsamic vinegar. And it's going to add the perfect little sweet accompanying because we're looking for balance always, right? Yep. Always balance. Always looking for balance. We're about ready for our crostinis. We'll get this uh, little... Trevor tightening. said um, he's in Atlanta. Where should he eat? Do we know? No. I don't know anything about Atlanta cuisine. The only place I know Atlanta is that place called the Varsity where they do like burgers and cheese dogs or whatever. That's The Varsity? You want to give them a cheese dog? No, it's that's what I'm saying. That's what it's called. That's the only thing uh, I know nothing about uh, Atlanta cuisine. Um, Scott wants to know, is it each American or all Americans combined? Uh... She's verifying Scott. Kevin said Burger King in Atlanta. All right. All right. Trevor said well poo. Said what? He said poo. He wanted you to tell him a good place to eat. Oh, sorry. All right, now we are going to build a little bit, a tiny bit of a roof. All right? Not a whole lot. We want to make a, little, we want to make a, a lot of stock. So we're gonna, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour. You can see I'm not doing a whole lot there. Okay. Alright, it's gonna equal out to probably be about a about a teaspoon. Alright? Okay. And when I just when I start tossing these mushrooms and that butter together, you're never you won't even see it again. So is this just to, to make it a little pasty? Thick. So what we're gonna do is okay. we're gonna let that we're gonna get that, that raw flavor out of the flour. We're gonna saute that probably for about five minutes, say three minutes or so. You can see it building up at the bottom yeah, of the pan, the right? So what's going to happen is when we hit this with this wine pouring, yep. that's going to release from the bottom of the pan and bring all that flavor up. That's what happens to me. Mm. You put wine in me, hey, oh, it brings all that flavor. The flavor. Flavor. You got to say it with an A. So yummy. She's not talking. Oh. It's the average American. The average American. So not all Americans combined, but the average American. How much candy per year? How much candy per year? Pounds. Pounds. Mm. So those are our, our beautiful little crostinis. Yeah. Just some great bread. Get a little bit crunchy. Do you need a plate? No, I got it right here. I'll, I'll okay. you. step back. I'll take care of this real quick. All right. Don't um, put me in my place. I did not put you in your place. So super you are awkward. looking for a straight fist fight. Taco, taco. All right. So a little bit of our bruschetta right here on the plate. Yeah. All right. One fifty nine. All right there. Now this cheese again is this beautiful farm feta. It has lemon and thyme. It's a little sour. It's delicious. Okay. Perfect for spreading. So what we'll do is we'll just lay our bread. You guys remember to like and share us pretty please. Right across, right across the plate like that. That's so pretty. A little bit of fresh basil all over the plate like that. And more on that. There we go. Right there. Okay. Now take it away. And then we'll give them a nice little knife. Should be able to spread it right there. Okay. That should be pretty good. Nice little snacker, and I'll take one of those when you get a Beautiful. Now you're demanding food? Wow, well, buddy. Okay. I got it right here. I do want some of that cheese, though. Can I come over here and get some cheese? You can. Mm. Is it exciting? Mm -hmm. You just hopped around like it was. Okay, yeah. so what are we doing? Okay, so this is done. Mm -hmm. Wine, deglaze. Smell that? Smell how good that smells. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Wine, white wine. Half a cup? Yep. Look at that. That's just releasing all that. And that's going to, believe it or not, that's going to mix with that flour. Mm -hmm. It's going to turn into kind of a little bit of a gravy. Now we have some chicken stock over here. Okay. We're going to finish this up with a little bit of cream. Get a little bit of butter at the end. Paul said, Hulk Hogan, what are you going to roo, brother? Do it. What are you going to rule, brother? There we go. All right. um, so we're going to reduce this wine by about half to her. And by the means, when I push the, see how I can almost see the bottom of the pan like that? Yeah. A little bit more than that. That's because of the flour. It's already starting, it's already giving us a little bit of thicken. Uh -huh. And believe it or not, I can reduce this right now, add a little bit of chicken stock and cream and serve it up. But I need to get a little bit more volume. Sean, I don't even know what you're talking about. Let me check real quick. Okay. Let's, let me, uh, Can we see them? Because you just I, yeah, snatched just give me one second. This is amazing. Is it good? Oh, hold on. We're fogging up. Sorry, guys. Okay. So anyway, there's our Brussels sprouts. They're not far away. Mm. We up the temperature to 400 degrees. 
Okay, so by the time, there, see how the, see how the sauce is, see how it stays like that on the pan before it yeah. comes together? Chicken stock. Is that stock. what you're looking for? Yep, chicken stock. How much is that? That's probably about another half a cup. Okay. We're going to reserve the right to add a little bit more later. Um, Kevin said he can't believe that you're not using the cast iron. Oh, I'm not using the cast iron because I needed to toss these vegetables and, and mushrooms tonight. Okay. And the cast iron weighs a thousand pounds, so I didn't feel like doing it. I but feel thanks like you're for being the judgment. Little, I feel like you're being a little dramatic by Seriously, saying that. Seriously, thanks it, for the judgment. That it weighs a thousand pounds. It, I mean, Mike. That makes me want to slam butter into a pan. <laughs> that into that. So mad. Oh, they said so, that you were mad. Amy said you were angry tonight. Why does Amy judge me? Amy don't know me. <laughs> Amy don't know the struggles of the fair. Oh my God, get out of here. Oh, wine. Tori, cheers. Oh, there's some little balsamic here if you want some of that. How crazy good is that cheese? Oh, this that is cheese awesome. is unreal. Awesome. 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 Right? Everything is. Isn't it so Everything good? Everything is. The I have to do my mouth. Good. That's really the awesome. The cheese is amazing. Oh, the bread? The whole thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. So, these, uh, uh -huh. this rib here is good. Everybody out there doing all right? I mean, oh, uh... Oh, man. Lori wants to know where the cheese is from. The cheese is from uh, La Femme du Fromage. Uh, her name is Tonda Carinti. My girl's from Oviedo. Class of 92. <laughs> Easton Market. Delicious white there. Go to Old Heart Bread. Go to Florida Co. Uh, go and get some Gideon cookies because it's the best cookie you'll ever eat in your entire life. It's almost a different category of cookie by itself. Those Gideon cookies are ridiculous. Okay, now. Yep. While this is cooking down. What's up, Boo McKinnon? Hey, Boo. We need to get the juice out of these ribs and into this pan, okay? Okay. Because we got to cook this sauce down so this crazy Frenchman can have some good food for once in his life. <laughs> that he doesn't have to cook. Oh, no, he doesn't have to cook. Okay, you are fast at it, and I'm trying to keep up. Don't touch that, it'll be bad. So I'm going to be able to do this. Get a plate? No. Do you need a warming plate? Or do you need a Do I have a warming plate? I do. You're right. Yeah, you, need, you need some of this. Mm-hmm. Nice. I need more tomatoes than that. That cheese is so good. And that's rosemary. I'll give the bunch. Mm-hmm. It's fine. I'll eat it. But have some happy dogs. Can I eat that? Yeah. Yes, just time. Uh, Mm. Okay, so we're just gonna set our shortener right there, and that's not even real how good that is right there. Okay. That's three hours in the oven. Now we're gonna take and strain out. This thing is so hot, baby. Alright. Okay. Now that didn't give me as much juice as I was looking for. So you're gonna add? Oh no, yeah, you watch. We'll get some. We're gonna push it through here. We're gonna strain this through the sieve. Push it real good. Beef stock. Okay. So the beef stock will help me get in there. Can I get that? Get those. Get those juices moving around in the veggies again, kind of rehydrate them. Okay. That way I can push all the flavor out of them. Push it real good? Push it real good, Spinderella. Hmm. Now, usually I would have lined the top of this uh, Dutch oven with a... Um, oh my God, you just made the biggest mess on my freaking floor. Tori, you have got to be out of your mind. <laughs> Seriously, all right, you're gonna add a little bit more chicken stock to this for? Okay. Hey, um, Kathy wants to know how you started the short ribs. Well, I'm gonna, uh, it's gonna be a minute for me to be able to explain that. Oh, well then just me, put it in I the recipe. Over there for a second. Oh, I'm gonna say. You need to get the hell out of my way, you're killing me. Sous vide chicken, check it out guys. It's just garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper. This is done. But we have this great hot pan right here. So you're gonna grill it off? We are gonna grill it off and check it out. We're gonna add this juice to the stock we have over here. Mm-hmm. These chicken breasts are perfectly cooked. So we don't need to worry about them not being done, even though they're that thick. So you should eat it, and now we are grilling it. Yes. Okay? Because it's done. The chicken is done. We want color. Okay. All right? Because you can see there's no color in this chicken. 
we want a little color here. We're actually not far away from plating this dish. Can we get right where you are, please? Okay. Now, when that reduces down, we're gonna add our cream. Yeah. Right? Take it off. Lemon. And then that's done. All we have to do now is cook our pasta, which takes about three minutes. We'll toss it all together as soon as our and you can see our Brussels are still good, nice and brown. Yep. That's gonna be perfect as soon as it goes in. These are gonna brown up real nice and we're almost out of here, guys. Um, Kathy said that it looks like carrots, probably onions, garlic. Um, did you do a rub with the tomato paste for the Yeah, so no, it's just straight, it's just straight tomato paste. Okay. Uh, onto the rib with salt and pepper after I sauteed it or uh, seared it off in vegetable oil. Okay. Right in the Dutch oven. Then my vegetable mix went right in on top of that fond. Uh, fond? That's the bits left over from the... Oh, who's trying to be fancy? Maybe. You, you use some fancy words, I mean? Maybe. Oh, it's on what, the fond. What, what you're doing right now is not helping. Okay, go. I'm not fond of what you're doing right now. <laughs> hey, I'll use that for the pun, the pun Monday. Monday, Monday. pun day. Yeah. Lori asked if you were skimming off the oil. Yep. Okay. That's a yep, Lori. A nice little. And they also are asking what you're cooking because they're tuning in late. Yeah. So what we're doing is making what I think is a scary good pasta. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Popperdale pasta, which is that nice big wide noodle you see right there. Yep. We're going to have some roasted Brussels sprouts in this pasta. We're going to have some green, sweet green peas. Okay. Which are right here. Yeah. We're going to have some fresh parsley and okay. we're going to have roasted Brussels sprouts with bacon, which makes it kind of a carbonara. Okay. We're going to twist this in a bowl and we're going to top the girls with uh, the sous vide chicken that's been seared in butter. And the guys are going to get that beautiful prime or that beautiful short rib on this plate right here. So why with do you reduction think, sauce. Why do you think girls like chicken and boys like beef? Um, it's not that, I mean, I just thought it's just. Oh, judgy. No, it's not judgy. <laughs> Can I tell you? It's not judgy. All right, cream in. Okay, cream in. How much? Seriously, Tori, like two tables. I mean, it's not much at all. Okay. Oh. So good. That's pretty darn good, man. You're double dipping and we have guests. And rubbing your nose. I'm just saying. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and reduce this to nothing. Because all we have to do is add a little bit of, uh, all we have to do is add, we're gonna add a little bit of balsamic. Mm -hmm. A little bit of reduction here because we just want a little bit of sweetness. Okay. Not much, seriously, half a teaspoon. And then we'll add a little bit of butter at the end of that. So okay. So all together. Lori like said, it. holy hell, what a mess. Kathy went LOL. Right. Kathy said, fond. Um, hola, Alex. You know what, I gotta tell you, I'm growing tired of these people. Mikey hearts you. Is that you. fine? Can no, I do that? Not Am Mikey, because Mikey hearts you. Do you use the Dutch oven and let it set for a few minutes? Kevin wants to know. Um, I don't know. What? Do you use a Dutch oven and let it set for a few minutes? I'm assuming that to he's talking about. get temperature or whatever? Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, I just cook, when I cook it on the stove top, when I sear off my ribs, I just use that once I hit the vegetables with it. Then once the red wine gets it, I scrape all that up. Beef stock, bay leaves. And how long did you cook them for? Three hours. Three hours. Three hour tour. Um, Aaron said you're a messy chef, but it's, that means you're a good chef. Well, the reason why is because I'm we I can't clean because I've got to do this thing as quickly as possible. I don't want to keep you guys all damn night. I agree. You are boring the hell out of me right now. Oh. <laughs> A couple pats of butter. So nope. find that's gonna get that nice sheen to it. Okay. That sauce is done. That's what we're gonna want to toss in our pasta. In. Let's get our pasta in right now. Dennis said he loves PTK because it's not scripted. It's real it, life. It is not scripted. There's no question. So we're gonna boil the tops of these because we know they're done. Real life. And we want to get that face. color. Can I get some more of that wine? Oh. Yeah. Do you what want some you? of mine? No, I, I have that. no histamine or sulfates. Well, then you should enjoy all of that. <laughs> because I don't want you to have any histamine issues or sulfate issues. I agree. Mm. That is the largest. Rick wants to know why you're not in costume. I am in costume. I'm no. a guy who guards the cemetery. That wasn't funny, baby. It's okay, though. You can't be funny all the time. No, you can't, baby. You're right. <laughs> okay. So what is this? Look at that. That's a reduction. From the roast? From the, from the ribs. Our ribs? 
Oh my god, I'm running. It's just got a little bit more to go. Okay. That's all done. Okay. Dude, you don't deserve this. You are like all over the place tonight. Um, I'm trying to call that good actually. Set that over there, over there. Yeah. See our Brussels? So let's go and get our pasta in. Okay. We're about ready to plate this up. Okay. I think you guys are hungry. We're starving. That's a lot of noodles. It is a lot of noodles. That's fine. Hey, by the way, guys, if you don't mind, like and share tonight. Like and share. We really appreciate it. We really, really do. Okay. So we have our noodles. We have our chicken. Yep. We so have the chicken's our... done. This is our sauce. We put our uh, English peas in. Then we'll... Come right back up. These will, this sauce will just warm these right through. No problem there. We want a little bit of sweetness in. He is in fast dab mode. Yep. Oh my gosh. And this is? Huh? That's the reduction from the uh, the short rib, the braising liquid. That's what's left of it. That's like four cups of wine and three, or excuse me, two cups of wine and two cups of beef stock comes down to basically what is like three tablespoons of sauce. Seriously. Okay. All right. So we have our, over there please. Thank you, baby. We have our pasta is in. Okay. We only have to cook this for like three minutes. Isn't that real good? You know, that fresh pasta or whatever. Yeah. So we're gonna cook that for about three minutes. That's why you buy better pasta because it only takes a certain amount of time to cook, correct? Well, yeah, and it's that fresh pasta, so it's good. You know, it's yeah. Yum yum yum. We're gonna take a little bit of our parsley here. Is that what? Okay. A little bit of Italian. This is that curly parsley. I like flat leaf, but they didn't have any today. So I have to deal with this. Okay. Actually, what's the difference? Does parsley have a different flavor? I think the flavor? flat leaf has more of a grassy, earthier flavor, and the curly parsley kind of looks good on a plate. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's really the, when you boil it down, that's what it is. So, let's get this off the heat. Okay. Because we don't want that to cook anymore. We just set it right there. And we only did that because we sous vide our chicken tonight, so yep. we only put it on the stove to give it color, to right? To give it color, that's it. Uh, the sous vide chicken was done. And I, by the way, let me just give a quick little plug. These things are fun and it's like a hundred bucks. This would be a, if you're looking for a Christmas gift for a guy or a girl who's starting to cook, this is a really good inexpensive gift at 130 bucks, like for a big gift or whatever. That is so much fun. You can sous vide everything, but I'm telling you, man, cooking fish and chicken with one of these things is almost cheating. It's almost not even fair because you can't mess it up. It's impossible. Okay. All you do is get a hot pan with butter when it comes out of the bag. Yep. And I've seen pros use these things over and over and over. I mean, it's it's really not that big of a deal. You, you feel like you're cheating. Oh, uh, where's Peggy tonight? I agree, Dwayne. Peggy's probably giving out candy where most people are. All right. So we got a good char on our Brussels sprouts. Woo! That's flavor, baby. That is nothing but it. So, as soon as this pasta gets done, which is like now, we're going to go ahead and plate this right up. I'll show you how it goes. It's Result. called a sous vide. Yes, yeah, sous vide, which is, I think, French for under yes. vacuum, right? Yes, under vacuum. Sous vide. S O U S V I D E. S O U S V I D E. V I D E. Look, if anybody would know, the Frenchman would. It's the French guy. It is the French guy. Yeah, the He's French fancy. Guy <gasps> Do you want to so see what the fancy. The French guy cooked? Uh, oh, you're yeah. going to be a little judgy about my refrigerator, though. Because I got some white claw in the background. Yeah, like, what's judging? What's wrong? It's fine. Okay, don't judge my refrigerator. We have children. <gasps> Look what the Frenchman made us. Mmm. And what is this? French Steve? Which one did that come from? Raspberry and white chocolate cake. How long did it take to cook? 14 uh, days. <laughs> couple of hours. Yeah? Yes. Did you curse? Yes. A lot. In French. Yes. In French. Do it yes. now. She she was no. Scared. She was a little scared. Say the p words. She, no. Putain. 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 T'es con, Steve. Oh. <laughs> French Steve's mad. <laughs> we French. cannot wait to eat that. French Steve ain't no sense. Uh, any possibility of a post about knife cutting or sharpening? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that, Dennis. We're gonna start doing some other small stuff so we can uh, do some kind of spread a little bit better knowledge. We kind of. Attaining. Okay. Pasta's done. Um, <laughs> Amy wants to know if you would cater a party. <laughs> sure. I mean, all You're I have. Such is, a liar. All I have is time. Um, Snapchat effect is amazing. I agree, Mikey. 
Um, what's that called? We already answered you. Um, Lori said she's not buying anything from Crazy Eyes. Why? What's up? Oh, oh no. you had Crazy Eyes when you were trying to sell the sous vide machine. Oh, Crazy Eyes. Making it so good. Hi. I don't know what that's on for. Let's plate this up. Oh, Kevin wants to know what my name is because he doesn't want to call me Mrs. Jimmy. Why wouldn't he? Say my name. Your name? It's like the song. Oh, let, let me, Bay. Is your name Bay? <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> what am I doing for? Oh, chicken. It's lighting, maybe. So I wanted to be able to slice this chicken up open. I'm gonna, look at that. It's absolutely. Cooked perfectly. It's perfect. I mean, it's. What's up, Joe? Just fine. You're welcome, kiddos. Um, are you handing out the leftovers to the trigger treaters? We never get trigger treaters. Oh We're at a cul-de-sac mm -hmm. on a lake. Mm -hmm. And we don't have street lights. We don't. <laughs> this chicken is like butter. Where do we live? <laughs> In the hood, baby. Yeah, dude, why do we live here? We're not. We're moving to Baldwin. Baldwin Park. Fancy town. Hey, our house is going to go on the market in 15 days. Okay. So just some of the pasta and the sauce here. Okay. Believe it or not, it will separate up. So as we get in there, we'll toss it around a little bit. We also are gonna do some of our sprouts. Um, Joe wants to know what he calls you when you're not around at trivia. What do you call me at trivia? I don't call you anything at trivia. Do you call me a name? Tori. See, you said my name. Tori. It works. So we have this beauty this right here. So what we'll do is we'll come over here. That looks delicious. We'll grab. Where's Peggy tonight? I do miss Peggy. She's so judgy. I love it. These big old noodles, I love it more than anything. I love these noodles so much. Kajagugu said hello. Hey, hey Ricky, what's up? And he said, we're a true team. Oh, thank you. Kiss me. Not. Mm. There you go. Okay, so let's get this off here. Okay. Clean this plate real quick so it looks nice. Oh, Adam called me the little girl. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Make sure you guys have it up there. So Daniel's and Andrea's daughter calls me the little girl. Here. Kevin said that he would be scared to come to our house. Lori said fling some more on the floor. Yeah. I'm tiring of Lori. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joe wants to know what movie theater food has the highest marked up price. Oh, uh, it's popcorn. Is it? Yeah, we figured we had that at trivia. Oh. Steve is gonna get this, but he's not gonna get any chicken. Okay. Steve is just gonna get the noodles. Okay. So we're gonna fill that full up with a big old short rib. Okay. This looks so good. There's just so much flavor in here. These mushrooms are to me and is what makes it. I'm gonna eat this like a. Okay. So Steve is gonna get this big old. Look at this big old piece. Look at that. Mmm. Some of this. Parsley <laughs> here. Mm -hmm. And guys, there you go. So tonight we did this. Uh, this gorgeous. The, I mean, this pasta is so delicious. It's so full of everything you love. It's got smoky bacon. It's got bitter roasted uh, uh, Brussels sprouts. It's got a mixture of that. Those great mushrooms with texture and flavor. And the big pasta holds a lot of the sauce. That's why I like the big pasta. Because when you see, I had a lot of sauce. Look at there's like no sauce. That pasta just sticks to it. It allows so much flavor in every single bite. And this dish is great. These little sweet peas are gonna play a bigger role than you could ever imagine. Because every little pop is a little bit of a sugar thing which supports the balsamic vinegar that's in the sauce. It's great. This is actually a relatively easy dish to make. Just takes a little bit of time. The braised ribs will go over a different time. That's a that's a different machine altogether. We just yeah. did this tonight because French people need beef too. I think we can agree, right? Hey guys, don't forget, like and share this video if you don't mind. Also, we need a little bit of lemon. A little bit of lemon. There, the girls, there. There you go. Okay. Uh, we're doing this Shun knife contest. It's like a $140 knife. It's the same one I use here at the house. Doesn't make any better. But at least you can take the equipment out of the reason that you suck. Uh, <laughs> it comes with 
a straightening steel, which means you can keep the blade straight, not necessarily sharp. It's a different machine altogether, but it's brought to you by Oliver Brothers Real Estate. You can check those guys online at theoliverbrothers.com. Also, a gigantic thanks to Wasi's Meats, as always, for providing us the money to do the show. Really, it's that simple. Wasi's.com, every single Saturday, they cook for free right out front. And don't forget, they are the biggest big green egg dealer in the entire state of Florida. You won't get a better deal anywhere. And they deliver on Mondays. Mark your calendar because April 28th is the Big Green Egg Fest. We will be there cooking and having a great time as well. Like and share if you don't mind. PTKRadio.com. That's where you enter the contest for the knife. And other than that, guys, I guess we will wind up seeing you next Tuesday here on Primetime Kitchen's How Tuesday. Happy Halloween. Did you just say see you next Tuesday? Happy. I've said it every time we've done it. You just called on. <laughs> but thank you guys very much. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.